Greetings to all. This is Brother Kwabana, um, Sebastian Mensa, um, the blog owner of um, Diary of a Millionaire Mind. Um, now this week is about Wilma Rudolph, one of our dearest, most man. She is. She's. She's not even well known. People don't even talk about her. Wilma Rudolph. She was. She was such a great human. You know, she she exemplified determination, self confidence, the will, and the drive to never fail. You know, there's a proverb. It's an African proverb. You must act as if it is impossible to fail. Just think about that. You know, just think about if a people believe in in a proverb like that. I mean, how far can you go? Nothing. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. So, um, Wilma Rudolph, you know, she, she had polio. It's a young age. Um, she had polio. She, the doctor told her she would never walk again. She would be, that would be her life. And she might eventually die, you know. So, but she lived for a, a longer time, you know, so people were surprised, you know, her parents were amazed that she was living as long as she was living. And then um, she just had a drive of determination. She said, you know, she um, admired her older sister. So she wanted to be like her older sister. So she said she was going to be as great as her sister, you know, or even greater. And she did, you know, she surpassed her sister. She, she was playing in a um, high school basketball team track. She was doing all of it, you know. She was she was amazing. And then she went to the Olympics, won gold medals. You know, to come out of something like a situation like that, you know, when all hope is lost, but you come out of it, you know, through perseverance and hard work and self determination and the will to never give up. You know, it's it's amazing. It's an amazing. Somebody with that kind of spirit is amazing. You know, and I wish I was I would be able to meet her, but you know, you can do that through spirituality. You know, you can um you know you can speak to your ancestors, you know, by the by your daily habits or your daily actions, you know. You will see things that would that would show you that your ancestors are speaking to you. So you can have that, you know, you can experience that, even though you won't meet them until you, you know. But anyway, yes, um, this week, Wilma Rudolph, one of our dearest ancestors, do a little bit more research about her, and you must act as if it's impossible to fail. That's an Acubalan um, proverb, Acubalanian proverb.